Welcome to part two of the Easy DIY Brew Fermentation Chamber. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So I've received some questions about what do you do if the temperature starts going below what you need. So I looked on Amazon and I found this fermentation heater. It's a very simple plug and play operation. A very simple cord. And all you got to do is roll it out, like so. And you're going to go ahead and wrap it around your fermenter. I have my secondary right here. So you're just going to bring it around there. And then I'm just going to use some blue tape for right now. I'm going to test out to see what other types of tapes make out the best. But I'm just going to go ahead and attach it right here. it's nice and snug on there. So now you got a slow heater onto your fermentation chamber that will keep it uh, nice and warm whenever it starts going below the correct temperature for your yeast. So I just went ahead and transferred my beer into my secondary fermenter. Before I just had your standard white top with just one hole in it, but now I need to go ahead and have two holes. One would be for the metal probe that's going to go right into the liquid so that I can have the inkbird temperature probe go right in there without touching the liquid itself so I know the actual temperature of the brew itself. And then of course you'd have this one for the uh, valve. So let's go ahead and show you how it's done. So you can get a good idea of what the temperature of the actual liquid is and not the outside air temperature. I went on Amazon and picked up this. This is from the Homebrew Number no. 7 Stopper Thermowell. How this works is in just a moment, I'm going to be inserting it right into the beer. And then afterwards, you're going to take your temperature probe, which I have from my ink bird, and you're going to slip it right on inside here. So the temperature probe does not actually get wet. It goes inside here. This way, that is actually checking the temperature of the liquid and not the outside air temperature. So let me show you how we insert that. So we're going to take the new stopper that I got, and we're going to do our best to insert this right into here. It's a little tight, but that's to be expected because you want to make sure it's nice and tight and secure. All right, so it took a lot of pushing and shoving and I also have to use a little warm water to loosen this up. But now that I've got the probe into here. I can go ahead and slip it right into the liquid and seal it off. So now it's going right in there. So once I put the temperature probe in there for my ink bird, it will get a direct temperature reading of the liquid itself. All right, finally, I just got to go ahead and add my airlock to the top here. Slowly but surely get them in there. Now we're all set. Now we're going to go ahead and put it in the freezer. Alright, so now let's go ahead and carefully get it into the uh, fermentation area. So now we're all set. Now you're going to go ahead and uh, find the temperature probe and slip it right into there. You just can keep shoving it down until it reaches the end so you know it's 100% at the very end of it and touching the liquid. So now we're all good to go. And then we'll go ahead and get the heater. Plug the slip over here. I'm going to separate them up from the temperature probe so it still remains sealed. Alright, we'll close it up. We'll go ahead and get the plug. And then find the heater section. Plug it on in. And now we're all set. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give us a thumbs up and please hit subscribe. And if you have any of your own suggestions on how to make this even better, please leave those in the comments below. Thank you.